Oh no, I dropped my glasses. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I think I'm going to call this a puzzle vlog because it's going to be a vlog. I don't know how long it's going to be for either like a weekend or a whole week's worth, but it's going to be all the things that I've done puzzle related. And right now I am about to go into a store. I was not planning on doing this today, but our house has no power. Actually, like the whole town has no power. So I drove a little bit and I'm gonna go to a puzzle store. I've gotten here once before and they have a pretty good selection. So I'm just going to take a peek and maybe get a couple. And the rest of this video would just be like little things that I've done here and there, puzzle related, whether that's cleaning my puzzle room or working on, I'm currently working on a 2000 piece, maybe doing a couple smaller piece counts. So hopefully you like this type of video. I just wanted to have like a very chill video, just all about puzzles, but not necessarily like a overhead or like a review video. It's just, I don't know how puzzles are in my life. So that's what we're doing and I hope you enjoy it. So if you are new here, I'd love if you subscribed and I am about to head in. Oh my goodness, my hair is crazy. So I am home, we have power, that's exciting. So I was able to make my coffee. And let me show you what I bought and then I'll show you what I'm working on. First up, I got this little teeny tiny one from New York Puzzle, it's 100 pieces. I just thought it was super cute. And then I got this one, which has been on my wish list for a while. It's part of the cozy line from Ravensburger. And I love this one, it's like cozy bathroom. I also want to get Cozy Retreat. I think that's the next one I want to buy from them, but oh, I love this one so much. This is totally me. Switch this out to the cat. That's pretty much my vibe. Did get my first Crypt puzzle, which I have no desire to do the ones that are just like solid colors, but I do like this gradient one, and I thought it would be pretty easy. It's only 631 pieces, and again, I, th I think it will be pretty easy, but yeah, those are the three puzzles that I got. So much restraint. On my puzzle table, we have my 2000 piece Disney puzzle. So this puzzle has been on my to-do list for a while and it is the one that won the vote like way back when, like last September. And I never got around to it cause that was when we like originally started thinking about moving and I had started it, but then I quickly realized that I didn't have the space for it. So now that I do, like this 2000 piece fits perfectly fine on this table, which is awesome. Um, I am pulling it back out. And there was some sections that were still together from my attempt. So I feel like once all these pieces are done, I'll be in like the ending stage of the first time that I tried it. So uh, let me show you what my current method is. Obviously I was working on edges, but I also just gathered a couple of the stamps that were there. So I have Tigger, you have this guy from Big Hero 6, you have Trisha Shire Cat, and a few others that are like very distinct. But I also did the book pages. I gathered all of like the filigree work and then the little binder, like the little ribbon that goes through the book. So those are the things that I've pulled out so far. And let me just take a peek at the box. And then next, I after all this is done, I think I'm going to find the magnifying glass or I might just do some good sorting to sort the characters out from the rest of the puzzle. Cause I feel like if I got the characters in their relative spot, it'd be pretty easy, you know? Um, just cause there is so much to work from and it's not so chaotic that I have to use like a 20 piece method, but I think just separating the characters out would just be helpful and this magnifying glass. So I think that's my plan going forward.
All right, it is much later, Dave is in bed. We had our movie date dance that we've been doing every Friday where we pick a movie and make popcorn with a popcorn maker and have a little box of candy. And it's been fun. Tonight's movie was really long. Uh, it was called The Lost City of Z. Not our, our, not our favorite choice. We had done like a random movie picker type situation and that's what it chose. And I think I could have lived without that one. Cool storyline, but I feel like the movie was really drawn out. Anyway, I am now continuing on a little bit with the puzzle this evening. I think I'm just going to rummage through and see if I can find any particular squares. Like I do know, like maybe the Anna square or the Elsa square might be pretty easy to decipher. Um, or there's one that's Bambi and it just looks like a little bit funky. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna be staying up too, too late, but it Hello, good morning. I stayed up way too late last night, but I did make some great progress. Let me show you where I'm at. So here is where I'm at. I have a huge pile of magnifying glass pieces. Um, but I have a couple mostly done squares or stamps. Um, I think I did pretty well. It's starting to come together. We'll continue on a little bit later, but me and Dave have a day date. We are going out to lunch at an Irish place, strawberry picking, maybe something else. Then we have to pick up groceries. And when we come back, I'll probably do a little bit of the puzzle or I might also food prep for the week. We'll see. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my And we did stop at a couple places on our way back. Um, so we originally were thinking about going strawberry picking, but one, pretty hot out. Two, we didn't end up driving that way, but we did find a few other farm stands. One we went to had an ice cream stand attached to it, and we both got smalls. Like if you see the pictures that I'm posting here, they were huge. Um, we almost ordered a small. Anyways, let me show you what I got for groceries. I know I'm curious like that when my YouTube friends or people that I watch um, just show random bits of their life so this is what we got for groceries. I have a Safeway order which is just like a bunch of spices and citrus and bacon and frozen corn and a few other things. I'm trying a new recipe book which is called so I'm trying this new recipe book it's called cook once eat all week. Dave's trying to be really quiet right now. Um, but it's kind of like a food prep system and has pretty simple recipes. And then we did stop at a wine farm stand and we got cherries and they had a huge wine section and they're actually pretty affordable. And right now we have zero because we had to um, drink and give it all away before we moved. So we have, we are starting to collect more bottles and then we did pick up some berries from a berry stand. We got the whole thing for I think $20 and then this huge thing of dill which I know is excessive. We've been or I've been experimenting with making our own pickles and I also have a dehydrator so we've been making just like fresh herbs dried and I've been enjoying that so I ended up getting dill because we're again experimenting with pickles. Um, most of our produce we actually get from a local farm here we get like their farm box each week and it includes flowers. It's part of 
this week's bouquet. There's also some over there near the coffee station. I'm just gonna do a little bit of food prep from that book. It's only supposed to take me like an hour. And then I am going to continue puzzling. This 2000 piece Disney puzzle is done and I loved it so much. Really wasn't hard at all and I just it just makes me so happy. Let me show you what it looks like. So it's a ton of Disney and Pixar characters. And I like how it's a collage puzzle, but it's also like one giant stamp book. So it looks like there's still like a purpose besides just like blocks of images, but so fun. I loved it so much. Now I am about to pick my next puzzle, but I'm not going to do it on this table. I'm going to do it on the puzzle table up in the living room because um, me and Dave are watching some TV. We're watching Discovery. And so let's see, I think I'm just gonna do like a small 500 piece one. Currently I have this giant box here of new stuff. And then I have a lot of stuff already on my shelves. So I think I have no idea what I wanna do. I haven't done Ibu in a while. I think I'm actually gonna do this one here. It looks pretty easy, and I have liked the other one that I've done from them, so I'm gonna do this 1,000 piece one. So stopping for a dinner break, but I feel like my background is so messy right now. Um, making good progress. So I'll show you what I'm at. So I got the border done, still missing a couple pieces. I am going to say that this is the most false fits I've ever experienced in a puzzle, um, which is interesting because I had no issues with the other one that I've done from them. But this one, like every single piece, especially the border, fits, which was super frustrating, but making, making some progress. I think I'm going to, I think, move on to the sky aspect, which you would think would be the hardest, but I feel like there'll be kind of more of a method to it, because right now this green part, I've had so many false fits, so. Hello, good morning, it is Tuesday. I have a busy day. I feel like I have a lot of things on the agenda and I'll take you along with me. Just took my thyroid medication, which I haven't really talked about here on my channel, um, but the past year and a half, really, I've been exhausted and I've always felt like my thyroid was off because I do have hypothyroid. And um, I've been struggling with it and I've lost a lot of hair, like up here, it's like really, really thin. And I had gotten my blood work done last year at my old doctors and they're like, oh no, you're fine, you're borderline to have an increase, but you'll be okay. I went to my new doctor and they looked at my old records and they were like, you should have been on a higher dosage last year. And so they switched my dose about a week and a half ago. It's like night and day. Like I feel like a total new person. So that is super exciting um, because I feel like in the course of the year, like I gained a ton of weight and my hair was falling out. And now that I'm on the right medication, hopefully things will go back to normal. I'm just so excited about it. Anyways. Today, we are going to finish my puzzle that I have over there. I don't really like having larger puzzles on that puzzle board. And not because it doesn't 
can like hold it. It's more because it's out on display in the living room and it makes the living room feel so small and messy. So I am going to finish that up so I can put away the puzzle board. I really decided, I think I only want to use that for like late night, like 500 pieces or less puzzling because if it's going to be out on the board for an extended period of time, I'd rather it like be downstairs in the puzzle room than out in the living room. So that's my thoughts. Um, so I'm gonna finish that puzzle. It's like 75% done right now. I definitely need to clean the kitchen because the kitchen is getting kind of crazy. Also need to do some work. Um, so I need to write a blog post for Puzzle Warehouse. I need to finish filming a video, edit a video, and then things for my company, I have to do a bunch of stuff for too. So it's going to be a busy day, but first off, I do want to finish that puzzle so I can pack it all up. And yeah, let's do that. So this is where I'm at currently. I just really have the green section left. I thought the sky was going to be really tough. It wasn't, I loved it so much. Um, I will say there's a ton of false fits in this one, which I did not experience in the, uh, where the crawdads sing version of this puzzle brand. So just wanted to mention that, but I like, I like the colors. I just wish the fit was better. and I have so many errands to run, I had to write a list. So I have to go to the bank. I need to go to the post office, grocery store, Walmart, maybe a thrift store, and there's one more. Oh, I forgot what it was. Anyways, we have a lot of stops to do. I don't know if I'll take you along with all of them, but um, it's going to be a very busy couple hours out. I am hoping to find maybe a couple 300 piece ones at the thrift store. I just like looking. I like to pop in. Well, I've only done it like twice, but pop in like once a week to see if there's anything at the local Goodwill um, because that's where I had a lot of good success and really good pricing. So I think that's where I'll check out. Um, it's also near a grocery store, mainly Go Walmart. There's just a lot of stops, a lot of stops um, just because we are planning on going to just because I do have to prepare for camping. I feel better now that the, at least that one, so our house is three levels, that second level, I'm glad that is clean. And then this afternoon I might work in the puzzle room a little bit because I do need to film, just pick up. Um, and I did get a new bookcase to put some items on. So I need to film a haul video for my channel but also so i can put those puzzles on the bookcase so that's what my plan is So it is way later. Dave and I went out to dinner and then we went for a drive and now I'm just picking up the puzzle room, but I am going to be filming a separate video, which is the haul video of all of these puzzles. Like there's a ton. I think there's over 20, 20 new puzzles and I have no place to put them, which is why I had to buy a new 
right there, new bookcase that I need to put together. So that'll be either right before this video or right after this video. Either way, I'll link it somewhere down below or up in the cards. But thank you so much for tuning into this video. Do you like the style? It was very chill, very relaxed for me. Very easy to film because I just did it throughout my day and not like having to set up everything, make it a big production. Let me know your thoughts. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.